Hi friends, it's Miss Erin from the Herrick District Library here to share another baby story time with you. This story time is designed for those of us who are about, uh, who are expecting infants in our lives through about 18 months or so. Um, and it's very interactive between you and your young child. So everything I'm gonna be doing, I'd love for you to do it with your little one. Um, your little one might not wanna do it with you, maybe ever. Maybe they're just not that into it, or maybe you are very limiting on screen time, which is totally understandable. Um, feel free to watch me anyway. Hang out with me for about 10 minutes or so. I will hopefully introduce you to some songs and some rhymes that you can do throughout your day um, to sort of build your baby's early literacy work. It's never too soon to get ready to read. So let's get started. Um, one thing that we know babies respond to is their name or that we want them to respond to their names. So I have um, a couple of naming songs I'm gonna do. Um, when I do it, obviously I'm gonna say baby, but you can substitute your baby's name where I do that. Um, and uh, the songs that I'm doing mostly uh, this week are gonna be really familiar tunes. One of the things that I often say is, make up your own song, make up your own tune, make up your own rhyme. And that can be paralyzing for some parents, just use ones that you already know. So that's what we're gonna do this week. Um, the first one we're gonna do is um, from, from the tune of Do You Know the Muffin Man? Some of you might not know it. You're gonna learn it, no big deal. So for this one, it's all about making our babies smile and laugh. That's what we really want them to do is smile and laugh. Um, so you probably know exactly how to do this. I'm gonna sing this song and we're gonna tickle their toes for one of them and then we're gonna tickle their nose for another one. It's obviously adaptable. So if you know how to make them smile or laugh, you're just gonna sort of replace it with that and we're gonna do some tickles. Here we go. I can make a baby smile, a baby smile, a baby smile. I can make a baby smile when I tickle their toes. I can make a baby laugh, a baby laugh, a baby laugh. I can make a baby laugh when I tickle their nose. Just like that. So it's that easy. Um, one of the cool things is that if you can sort of model that behavior of like the difference between a smile, ah, oh, this is a smile, ah, oh, that's a laugh. That would be great. And again, if there's a body part that you want to Highlight, you can tickle their elbows, you can tickle their ears. This just happens to rhyme. It certainly doesn't have to. Um, just uh, have fun with it. And it's, again, another way to build that vocabulary for new body parts that we may not know. Um, and again, just substitute, when I said a baby, just substitute your child's name. It gets them used to uh, hearing their name over and over and over again. So we're gonna do another one that is um, a baby one. And this one, again, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use baby, you're gonna know this one, it's pat a cake, um, but we're gonna sing it to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And I'm gonna do some motions, which you can absolutely do with them. I'm gonna mark our, our um, tummies, mark it with a B, we're gonna mark it on their tummies. Mark, mark it with whatever the letter of their first name is. Um, another great thing, kids learn the first letter of their name, it's the most important letter. Um, and this is a great introduction to that. The, your name is Gabe, it starts with a G. Your name is Brooke, it starts with a B. Um, so here we go. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B. Put it in the oven for baby and me. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B. Put it in the oven for baby and me. Good job, friends. So again, just two really easy ones that you can do that's gonna get them used to hearing their name. Um, you're gonna get some responses with some of these things we're doing and we can introduce them to the first letter of their name, which trust me, once they get old enough, it will be the most important letter in the entire alphabet to them. 
Um, how about we do a little quick, a quick little bounce. Um, bounces are great for building rhythm. Bounces are great for just overall movement. This one is to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. So one you're probably familiar with. Super easy. Um, for this one, if we are a teeny, teeny, tiny one, we're going to do really gentle bounces where we're going to have them like in between on our knees with their heads supported on, the, on our knees um, and just do really gentle bounces. For those of us who are a little older, we can do bigger bounces. Here we go. Hip, hip, hippity hop, hippity, hippity hop. We'll hop around the room today until it's time to stop. That is our sign for stop, just like that, stop. This one is a great one because we're doing some movement and then we're stopping, right? We can do the sign and say the word. Hearing the word stop is really important. We don't want to um, alarm children when they're maybe close to doing something they shouldn't do. But if we, if we know the movement, if we're used to moving and then stopping, it's a great way to learn that. So let's do that one again. Here we go. Hip, hip, hippity hop, hippity, hippity hop. We'll hop around the room today until it's time to stop. Stop. Gonna freeze. Good job, friends. Um, this is another one that is kind of a uh, it's kind of a bounce, uh, but we're also gonna do some lifting. And for this one, if we're sitting, um, we're if they're sitting on our laps facing us, it's a great one where they can drop between our knees, kind of that fun fall that they get in their tummies. Um, so here's how this one goes. And this one is to this old man. See, they're all old tunes. You can do this. You can make them up yourself. So here we go. This is to this old man. Merry go round, merry go round. We go riding all around. First we're up and then we're down. We go riding all around. Off to town, off to town. We go riding off to town. Hold on tight, don't fall down. We go riding off to town. Super easy. Um, so we get to go up and down, and that gives us that feeling of going up and down. Lots of times children love to fly up in the air. Um, you, if we are not a flyer in the air, some of us are not, you can just keep bouncing. Same thing with the hold on tight, don't fall down. If this is too scary, although it's great anticipation for them, the more you do it, they, they kind of love anticipating that feeling. Um, if, we, if we don't want to drop, we can also just go from side to side during um, hold on tight, don't fall down. Um, we're going to do one more. Uh, this one is actually a bath time song, um, but it's also, I'm going to use it as a hair washing song. I happen to be a young child who really did not like getting her hair wet. She did not, I didn't like soap in my eyes. I was very concerned about getting my face wet. Um, so this is a fun way to engage your kids when we're getting our hair washed. But again, you can switch it up and you can pretty much use it as a bath time song. So this is actually um, to a tune of, I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair, which is from South Pacific. Um, but here's how it goes. I'm gonna wash that dirt right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that dirt right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that dirt right out of my hair and send it on its way. I'm gonna rinse that soap right out of my hair. I'm gonna rinse that soap right out of my hair. I'm gonna rinse that soap right out of my hair and send it on its way. That's it. Sometimes when we sing, it can just be distracting enough and they can be looking at your face as you're, you know, doing the, the part that they don't like. But again, you can you can also use it just for a general bath song. You can do, um, I'm going to wash that dirt right off of my face, off of my hands, off of my arms, off of my legs. Gets into that whole um, body awareness. So we know we're learning our body parts. Um, but also, if we're not a fan of bath time, it can just be a fun way to sort of engage uh, that way. I thought I would end today with just a little peekaboo. Um, this is Miss Erin's favorite peekaboo song so, um, to sing. And I thought I brought a little friend with me. Ooh. Oh, who's that? Hello, Mouse. Thank you for waving to our friends at home. Oh, 
Yes, yes, I think we should do peekaboo. Are you ready? We're gonna cover our eyes like a mouse. Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you, I see you. I see your tiny toes, I see your button nose. Peekaboo, peekaboo. Thanks so much for joining us today, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.